Hello musicians, welcome to the weekend. It's, I know it's Friday, but it's kind of the weekend, isn't it? I'm going to have a bit of a day off the digital, the hardware routine, because it's, you know, do you know what? I'm surrounded by tech, um, hardware, software, machinery, and it, it feels really oppressive today. And I think, you know, when you're a, a modern musician, a composer, and you're, you know, I write these stories, I do these animations, and the animations are all done on the they you know, they're executed on computerized systems, big hardware, small hardware. I have to see what everything's like. I've got two phones, I've got an iPad, uh, a Mac laptop, I've got a big uh, recording studio um laptop, and I literally all day I'm going from one to the other to the other to the other. And after a bit, you, you sort of think, ah, oh, gosh, this is, you know, I'm turning into a machine myself. I just thought, do you know what? I think I, I need a bit of a rest, even if it's only an hour. It, would, it probably won't be the whole day, but I'm going to have a bit of a rest. I've just, um, we've had to reinstate the website. I'm not going to go into too many details about why and how, but the issues that I was dealing with before, i.e. money, financial, um, you know, the cost of a website um, over it, if you pay it up front for a year is, is ludicrously expensive. And I, I'm going to recommend that you don't do that because you could change on a whim and decide to move your website. And if you've paid up for a year, that's a big mistake. Well, these a lot of these companies, they just take the money out. You don't, you're not concentrating, you don't realise and you've ended up paying for another year. I mean, this is so typically me it really is um so for whatever reason i'm moving from the free websites which i've really enjoyed doing i've been doing the free blogs i've had about eight i eight at my peak eight blogs really as market research it's my way of market research um researching is to do something and see if there's any traction in the immediate um you know as an immediate thing i e a couple of months in, or if I'm sharing on social media a day in, you know, see what happens. Does that work? Is that, is that title interesting people, etc. Now, actually, the two best um, websites that I did are Politica, politica.uk, and um, which I've had to put on hold because I'm too busy. But I'm going to transfer that to the main site. So that was really good. And Elder Essence, which is about a, a personal blog about me in my 60s. And those two were definitely up ranking high. But I've had to park them for the time being. I will be doing those. Don't panic um, anyone who was following that journey. Um, it, it was actually quite fun doing it. But when I'm doing those, I don't have time to write the book. So, you know, at some point you have to think, right, no, OK. Telltale Club is my big, um, you know, that gets a lot of visitors every single day. So that's the one that needs to be in peak performance and doing its thing. So, you know, I've had to sort of say to myself, well, I'm going to lay you off as a political researcher just for the time being and focus just on the storybooks. So um, and the music, of course, because you know the music does generate income albeit uh, you know not as much as I'd particularly like I've just had some royalty figures in and really interesting I mean 300 and odd streams will generate um you know 28p I believe was one um and one sale of a record generated 93p um, that's quite interesting, isn't it? But so you make much more money from selling records, actually somebody buying and downloading it onto their computer. Um, so I'm, you know, really thinking, well, that's what I need to encourage, isn't it? So all of the Rife Vibes are going to go up onto my website for sale. So you will actually be able to download them. That'll be about a pound. Um, I think that's probably cheaper than iTunes. I don't know. I mean, these the, the ones I sell do sell on iTunes. Um, also, you know, my ringtones. So 
I'm really going to look into that. I think, you know, I was scrambling around thinking, oh, I've got this shop, what can I fill it with? And I've been looking for products for the last sort of four years, a, a product that works, that, you know, seamlessly integrates with my um, my genre, my brand. Um, and I just thought, why don't I just sell the records? So you can buy digital records or hard, you know, vinyl even, but I can't afford vinyl at the moment. Or I can't justify it, that's for sure. Um, and I was looking at, you know, how do people buy hard copies? So it's sort of DVDs. And I thought, oh, I suppose I better... Funny enough, I was... My my daughter is uh, an events planner and she's putting on this ball, a vampire ball in Brighton. And um, 